Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a skip trial texture on a ceiling. Skip trial texture is very popular here in Florida. I do a lot of it in the higher end homes. It has a Mediterranean flair to it. It's a modern finish, which people love. Once it's painted, it's beautiful. On this drywall ceiling, I first showed you how to mud a drywall butt joint using fiberglass mesh tape. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so the tools I'll be using, a 14 inch stainless steel taping knife and a hawk. I'm also using my Werner walk platforms in the bedroom instead of my stilts. I don't like walking on carpet with my stilts. So uh, just getting it going. You can see how much I put on the knife. It's not a whole bunch. You don't want to smush it all out because it's just going to end up a big blob on the ceiling. So uh, I did add sand to the joint compound and thinned it down to about a yogurt consistency. I do have a video on how to mix a skip trial texture. I'll leave that down in the description below. So I'm basically just getting the skip trial up there, taking it slow and just holding the knife almost flat to the ceiling and lightly gliding over the drywall. The sand makes it skip, so you just got to pull it and it'll pretty much skip for you. You're going to have to find your own technique when you're doing it though. As you can see, sometimes you have to go over the same spot a couple times for it to grab and look right. So you just keep working it until it looks right, then move to the next spot. Once I've run out my hawk of skip trial mix, I'll drop back and knock it all down going in the same direction, but opposite of how I'm applying it. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 20 years. If you're looking to hone in your drywall, texturing or painting skills, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. Just holding it to an angle and pulling the knife with a light touch. It all matters how much you put on your knife. That's what I like is the, the small quarter size blobs. If you can dial that in, you're doing good, but you're going to come up with your own skip trowel. Mine is different. You can always tell when someone else has done a room, if you're, you're doing a whole house with two different people, unless you've worked together for a long time and you've dialed in your techniques to look the same. So once you do your first ceiling, you're going to have your own custom skip trial texture. Okay, so I've got the first hawk of skip trial mud applied to the ceiling. I'm going to drop back here and knock it down going the opposite direction of how I applied it. I'm going across the direction how I applied the skip trowel. As you can see, the skip trowel goes a long way. So I'll be able to texture this whole bedroom ceiling with less than a half a bucket of all-purpose joint compound with the sand mixed in it.
I always like to apply a skip trial texture going in the same direction. And then when I knock it down, I go across the direction that I applied it. Notice how I place the skip trial mix on my hawk. I don't just pile up a big blob. I kind of place it so it's about the width that I'm going to want the mud on my drywall taping knife. You don't want your skip trial mud across the whole length of your taping knife. You probably just want to keep about an inch or two on each side so you're not pushing it out the sides. Again, I'm just getting the mud up and going to work it until it looks good. And then I'll drop back after I run this hawk out and knock it all down. I'll leave a link to my skip trial tips and tricks playlist in the YouTube card above. Another good thing about skip trial texture is its hiding ability. You can apply it where you need it and not make it too heavy. When you're spraying on a texture and you try to apply it where you need it, it always ends up too heavy. If you have any questions about skip trial texture, how to apply it, how to mix it, when to do it, ask me in the comment section below. Also, let me know what kind of drywall project you're working on now. All right, so I'm just knocking it down, going across the direction that I applied the skip trial texture. I think it gives a nice random texture instead of a real uniform skip trial texture. I try not to get a lot of skip trial texture in the corners. That way it cuts in real easy when it's time to prime and paint. Once the skip trial ceiling is primed and painted, it tones down its busyness. It looks more like a light stucco finish. All right, once again, I'm going to drop back and knock it down going across the direction that I applied the skip trial texture. 
I'm always looking for a little bear spot or anything, and if I see one, I just add a little more skip trial mud and knock it down so it all blends nicely. All right, so there is the skip trout ceiling completed. It'll probably take about four hours for it to dry completely and then be ready for a primer and paint. I like to use a Zinsser 123, then a high quality latex paint, two coats. I will not be painting this ceiling. The homeowner has opted to paint it himself. If you're looking to step up your drywall texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. And if you have a friend that's a DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Check out one of these videos down below.